welcome students today we will learn about food and nutrients students we need energy for external and internal activities our food must contain all the essential nutrients in right quantity such food is called balanced diet We need nutrients for growth and maintenance of the body. All these are obtained by food. Major components of food. What is components? A component is a part or element. So here a part or element of the food. The major components of food are carbohydrate, protein, fats vitamins minerals thus balanced diet should contain all kinds of nutrients first we see carbohydrates foods made from cereals are rich in carbohydrates that is cereals like rice wheat maize millet ragi and all have carbohydrate nutrients and also sugar potato honey and sugar cane are some of the main sources of carbohydrates thus the carbohydrates are energy giving foods in fruits the banana also rich in carbohydrate the carbohydrate foods provide energy to our body now let's see fats rich in foods fats also provide energy and warmth to our body see the picture These are the some food items rich in fats and also including ghee and all the sweet also rich in fat our body needs energy to do all types of work in daily life thus our body needs energy foods so which nutrients give energy to our body the carbohydrate and fats are the energy giving foods students now let's see about body building foods the proteins are body building foods protein helps our body to grow milk cheese pulses nuts eggs fish mutton and chicken they are some of the main sources of proteins thus proteins are body building foods now let's see about protective foods the vitamins and minerals are the protective foods the fruits and vegetables has more number of vitamins and minerals thus vitamins and minerals protect our body from diseases and keep our body as healthy there are many types of vitamins needed by our body mainly vitamin a b c and d Let's see about this vitamins. Vitamin A source of foods are spinach, carrot, milk, butter, eggs, yellow fruits like mango, papaya and all. This vitamin A is necessary for our good eyesight and healthy skin. The vitamin B rich in foods are 
green leafy vegetables, soya bean, milk, beans, peas, etc. The vitamin B is required for healthy skin and proper functioning of nerves. Now vitamin C. The sources of food are orange, lemon, amla, tomato and green vegetables. Vitamin C is needed for proper functioning of blood vessels for keeping teeth gums healthy and for healing of wounds. Vitamin D sources are sunlight, milk, eggs, butter, fish, cod liver oil. Vitamin D it is required for healthy bones and teeth. Do you know our body makes vitamin D in the presence of sunlight? The doctor will advise that the early morning sun rays should fall on newborn babies to get this vitamin D. Besides vitamins, our body also needs many different minerals for staying healthy and active. Minerals are needed by our body in small amounts. Here we have a look on iron and iodine. Iron. The iron symbol denotes Fe. Iron required for the formation of hemoglobin in the blood and to protect us from infections. These are some sources of iron. Iodine. Iodine is necessary for normal growth and development of the body. These are some sources of iodine. Mainly the iodist table salt we are using in the food. Seafoods like fish and prawns. Dietary fibers or it also known as roughage. The dietary fibers helps in removing undigested material from the digestive system. The sources of dietary fibers is found mainly in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and also in sweet potatoes. These foods helps in digestion. The main nutrient in our body is water. Water makes up 70% of the human body. It regulates body temperature. Water is the major component of blood and also it helps in digestion. So thus today we learned about energy giving foods, protective foods and body building foods. The main nutrients in the foods are Carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and minerals and proteins. Students do the following homework. Thank you students.